Hello, our friends, Evolutionary Energy Arts family. Hello there, welcome back. Welcome back, guys. Again, we want to welcome everybody to come join us over on Patreon. And Patreon's where we put all the videos up. Uh, and again, we couldn't do it without the support we get over at Patreon. We, we did a very uh, interesting, hard-hitting one this morning that was over there and and, and it, it, we wouldn't get it approved on on yt so again uh if you feel so inclined you're welcome to join us over there so are we looking at the future look at this look at this unitree general purpose humanoid robot evolution v2.0 embodied ai embodied ai price below 90k shoot you know i mean mm -hmm. Some people buy vehicles that cost that much. I know. He's priced to move. And as I'm watching him here, you could probably get one for to play with or something. He costs as much as our house, literally. He does. He does, yes. But you, too, could have your own personal AI that is embodied. Look, he could carry 30 kilos. Wow. Wow. Highest power performance robot of its counterparts with similar specifications in the world. 47 kilos is the weight, as you see here. Pretty amazing, you know, what we're going to be seeing in the future. You want to talk about amazing. Uh, let me just show you this. Yeehaw. Your weapon, sir. Thank you, steward. Fire in the hole. Awesome. Way to go. We did it. Stuart. Okay, so that's a Tesla, in case anybody's wondering. And this is a Tesla Motors uh, test bot. Literally testing the bulletproof capabilities of a Cybertruck. And yeah, you see, you know, laughing and joking. This is Elon Musk. This is what Elon will be bringing as the introduction of just robotics like you have never seen before. This is going to be what your cartels are going to be sporting, your private armies. We have our, our Wagner in today's world. Well, there's going to be private armies made up of these drones. I mean, we've heard reports of China mass producing drones and robots. Uh-oh, 33 seconds. Cindy just pointed this out. You cannot get a clearer message than this. No, they love their stamps. They love their stamps to say, yes, we did this. And they have it wrapped up in a nice, cute, humorous type package with a pretty bow and um, to give people smiles and hope for the future, I guess. Yeah, absolutely. And so, you know, again, Tesla, SpaceX, Elon right now, good cop to the bad cop of the world right now the lawsuits going on and all that uh this is elon's purpose he, he's to move forward the integration of ai and humanity in every way shape and form when we get past this uh ww3 period there will still be conflicts going on there's going to be humanity that refuses the system and you know, as Nostradamus said, there'll be rev revolutions going on in many places for very, very long periods of time. Ultimately, if nobody is going to really join the service, this is going to be the service. This is what we are going to see controlling those smart AI cities. And, and we really should not laugh this off at, in any way, shape or form. This is ominous. This is super ominous because obviously it didn't have power, uh, a problem at all pulling the trigger. Of course not. And when we look to the Pentagon, what they've been saying, AI initiatives accelerate hard decisions on lethal autonomous weapons. Yes, they are going to let the weapon systems, the AI, make its own decisions on when to shoot, who, where. It's what could go wrong. This is this is where we're at now. This is a huge, as this is Military Times, 
talking about the U.S. launching this huge artificial intelligence initiative, you know, what could go wrong, right? <laughs> everything could go wrong. Everything could go wrong. And everything is 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 really about control, as we now know. They're, they're having a really hard time getting people to go into the militaries. This is the next stage. They'll just manufacture the militaries. They are doing it at the moment. This is going on right now on a massive scale that the public does not know of. So underscoring the sense of international urgency around AI and autonomous weapons, 60 nations, including the U.S. and China, issued a call for action at the Hague conference urging broad cooperation in development and responsible military use. This is, you know, they'll say, you know, anybody should be, nobody should be irresponsible when it comes to using AI to make its own decisions and, and who it's going to kill. The thing we should say is AI shouldn't be here making any of its own decisions on who it's going to kill. And people are going to be tired of being told by governments Oh, you, you must serve your country. Countries are arbitrary. Borders are arbitrary. Everything is always changing in this world with new borders being rewritten every so often. Countries coming into existence, going out of existence, coming back to existence. The sole purpose is, is to population control the planet, keep the frequencies low, and make tons of money and profits off of the suffering of others. So there will become a time when people won't won't go for it anymore. They'll simply say no. And yes, many people will be locked up and put in jail for refusing uh, to be drafted. They'll still have their armies, you know, and we see what their militaries are going to look like. Mm -hmm. You know, I've noticed that they they kind of, it seems like they move fast, but still they move slow enough for humans to adjust and get used to the water and go ahead and maybe go along with this thing because it's neat and it's cool and it's fun but I've found myself more and more um, planting my feet right where I'm at like I'm not going to upgrade my phone ever ever and I'm probably going to pay for that because I probably won't be able to really access too much <laughs> online I probably won't be able to buy anything um, but it, it's like everybody has to like kind of draw their line or it creeps up on you so slow. And especially if you if somebody's not awake and they're just in the system, they're going to think, oh, well, I just need to get this new phone and and it's going to be OK or just get this new car. It's like we have no intentions of getting another vehicle. We're staying right where we're at. You know, any new vehicle that comes out right now has tracking devices on it. And they have remote control stuff on it. And you can't get around that. I think we just, we hit the line where ours doesn't have any of that. And I will never get anything newer. But but it's about drawing that line in your life. Where are you going to plant your feet and say, no, I'm not going to keep going along with this. It's like I, everybody has to kind of make up their own mind. Yeah, you have to draw the line in the sand. So here you go to military analysts and artificial intelligence researchers say the longer the nearly year long war lasts in Ukraine, more likely it, it becomes that drones are going to be used to identify, select and attack targets without any help from humans. So this is another thing going on with uh, Ukraine and, you know, other places as well. This is that transition period. Here is an underwater robot. Uh, as well, you know, we're we're jumping into territory that for us is really uncharted. But again, it's a cycle in time. We've been here in the past and we are going to see things that are going to blow our, our minds away as the controllers will simply uh, not have the human flock going along with them. Well, you know, they'll do a artificial uh, simulation of whatever it is uh, that they need to have to be done. As you look at the world's first robot hotel. Uh, wow. Yeah, this is all it, it's it's moving fast, I think, for many of us. And it's a big realization. As you see here, this little guy, you know, butterflies are free and they'll choose whoever they like to come and land and play with 
Mm-hmm. That's such the cutest thing. And we were just talking with a family member. He said he was doing mantras out in his car, and then all of a sudden he had all kinds of creatures kind of surrounding him because his energy has changed. He's very, very different. And when we put off these good vibes, these happy vibes, we can see it in the world around us. Absolutely. As for us, we will choose the natural route and and there will be no deviation from that no matter no matter what. We're we're just not going to go into the smart cities. We're we're not going to merge with AI. No no chips. No, no none of not. that. No, no. We we would rather say bye-bye and yeah. you know, that's just our personal feeling because we understand that what they want to do is truly trap the soul. That is really what they are trying to do. So they can harness the energy of the soul uh, even beyond uh, the normal lifespan. Kind of creepy. It doesn't get any creepier. You know, <laughs> the reality is, uh, you know, we've talked about that. We're running out of CONS, piracy theories, and everything that was really, really dark and and thought to be too dark to be reality is literally coming to pass that it's it's coming out into the light and it's not pretty be like a butterfly source bless and namaste namaste